Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, my electronic scoreboard for America's pastime. Um, today, I am playing uh, as part of my MLB Super League, uh, the 2022 Orioles against the 1907 Cubs. And this is part of my uh, MLB ongoing Super League. The Twenty twenty two Orioles are just kind of uh, an exhibition team that I use. They're not part of the official thirty three teams, but I do like to include them um, uh, as a, kind of like an exhibition game. It does count on the actual team's records. Nineteen oh seven Cubs are way up here, ranked number three at seven and three. So this is game number eleven for them. For the 2022 Orioles, they're three and two, so it's game number six. Uh, we're starting the bottom of the third. The Cubs are up three to one by uh, virtue of um, uh, box score. A two-run home run by Frank Chance in the first and an RBI double by Johnny Kling in the second. Uh, the O's have a run uh, from a solo home run of Gunnar Henderson in the second. So uh, here we go, bottom of third, uh, Jimmy Shuckard's up. Uh, this is a, kind of like an APA national pastime-based uh, game. And you get the results down here. Use your any boards of choice. You can use APA. You can use the Oz boards. You can use the Delaware Valley boards or any uh, APA national pastime boards you like. And as we know, an 11 is a single uh, with a stolen base for Jimmy Shepard. So there's a single. And let's give him his stolen base. Brings up Frank Schulte, the 38. And I've got my Delaware Valley boards here in front of me with a 38. Let's see. We are going to look at the shortstop. The shortstop is Mateo. He is a 10. So we'll look at fielding column one out of first runner to third. <coughs> That's a grand out for Schulte, and we'll advance Sheckard to third. We have a seven for Chance against the B rating with a runner on third. Now these uh, pitchers' grades uh, are a floating index in this game, so you'll kind of see them go up and down based on weighted randomness and match up between the pitcher and the batter. So Kremer, Krem, Dean Kremer is a B, the seven, that's a single runner scores. And the Cubs extend their lead. Harry Steinfeld with an eight against the B, and that will be a ground out runner advances. And brings up Joe Tinker, and a 26 will be a ground out. Top of the fourth, and three fingers brown pitching, and he's an A and C, sometimes an A and B, and he fluctuates uh, sometimes down to an A. I don't know if I've ever seen him go to a B. At a 20 and 6 record with a 1.39 ERA, facing Austin Hayes with a 33, and that'll be a pop out. Santander with a 24 grounds out, and a 27 by Mount Castle is a ground out. Johnny Evers will draw a walk, and with that asterisk, he'll steal. He's a Johnny Kling with a 36. Sounds like a wild pitch to me. Let's see. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, wild pitch. Advance the runner to third. And get a reroll. 32 would be a fly out to right field, runner on third. Our right fielder is a one, Santander. So that's going to be runner scores, sack fly on the fly out. <clears throat> There's a nine against the B is a single. A 39 by Jimmy Slagle. We're going to look at the catcher, and Rushman is an eight. So the runner out stealing. All right. So we'll eliminate the runner and register an out. And get a re-roll for Slagle. 34 with a Y as a strikeout. 
Ramon Urias, 26 is a ground out. And an 8 is a pop fly out for Gunnar Henderson. Jorge Mateo, 27, will ground out. Seems like the Orioles don't have much of a chance here. Look, Kremer goes down to a C against Jimmy Shepard, uh, left-handed batter. And he'll draw a walk. Schulte will fly out. And now we have a 19. Delaware Valley Board says to look at the third baseman. And he'll be fielding column one. It's a single runner to second. <clears throat> and a 17 with runners on first and second. We're looking. Oh, that's a hit by pitch. Bases loaded, one out. And we have a 41. Jeez. And that'll be a shortstop check. Fielding column one. Ooh, look at that. Triple play. We only needed the double play, though. Put out shortstop, shortstop, assist shortstop, put out first baseman. And so that will be a double play on a line out. <coughs> Adley Rushman will fly out to right field. Ruffnet Odor flies out to center field. Cedric Mullins will get a single and a stolen base. Brings up Austin Hayes with an eight. Runner on second. Uh, Mordecai Brown is an A and B. Uh, against an A, it'll be a ground out. Bottom of the six, Johnny Evers grounds out. Johnny Kling, 38, will get a ball. A re-roll. 16. We're going to check center fielder, Cedric. He's a three. So that's a fly out. Uh, the DH for the 1907 Cubs is uh, Solly Hoffman, and he strikes out. Sandan Dare. Oh, there you go. Down to a B. And he tried to take advantage of it, but he still is out on a fly out the center field. Only two hits for the Orioles. Ryan Mattcastle with a nine, and that'll be a strikeout. And Ramon Urias will also strike out. <coughs> Jimmy Slagle, uh, fly out to center field. Sheckard against the C. Look at that. Kremer went down to a C. And look at that. He gets the out on the pop fly out the third base against a PRN of nine. So it worked to his advantage. Frank Schulte will fly out to left field. Top of the eighth. Gunnar Henderson grounds out. Jorge Mateo strikes out. And Adley Rushman draws a walk. Ruffinetto door with an eight. We got uh, Mordecai down to a B, but still that will not do it. Out of first, runner second to ground out to the pitcher. <clears throat> Bottom of the eighth. Let's bring a relief in here. Try to keep it real. So, uh, I'm going to bring in uh, Dylan Tate is not available. You can see he's still ready. He'll be available um, on day six. We're at day five for the Orioles. So Bautista, the closer, would be available, or the spot starter, Tyler Wells. I'm going to bring Brian Baker in. And we'll bring in a relief pitcher. And that pitcher will be first get to the visiting team. And then get to 2022 Orioles pitchers. And I want Brian Baker. And let's play ball. And you can see that now Kremer's stats are in the books. Brian Baker is a B facing Frank Chance. And he's into a zero into a second column. And we'll get another roll. Look at the second column. And it's a four. And that is a double. Leadoff double. He's up Steinfeld. The 27 with a runner on second. We're looking at third base. Fueling column one. A Y would be a strikeout. Otherwise, it's an out of first runner holds. Joe Tinker with a 28. Out of first runner holds. Johnny Evers strikes out. 
So we're at the top of the ninth. Uh, Three Fingers Brown has held the Orioles to two hits. Uh, I guess they really never stood a chance in this one. Cedric Mullins with an eight. Pop fly out. Austin Hayes grounds out to the stop. And Anthony Santander will strike out to end the game. Press Q. Quit the game. Game over. And there are our final numbers. Six to one, I'm sorry, five to one win for the 1907 Cubs over the 2022 Orioles. Here are the, here's how we got there. Cedric Mullins uh, got the second hit in the sixth inning and a stolen base. And uh, here's where the runs came from for the 1907 Cubs. And here's your winning pitcher. Uh, Morike Brown faced 30 batters. Two hits, two walks, six strikeouts. I can export these uh, to Excel by clicking here. This is my America's Pastime um, electronic scoreboard that is uh, uh, usable, and, and I have shared it if you want to try it out. And I'm going to open that exported Excel file. So I can put my stats into my spreadsheet. And these are the Orioles box score numbers and copy. And let's see if I can. <coughs> I need to get to my batting tab. And I'm going to paste special values and add them to the stats I already have for the Orioles right here. So I'm going to paste special the values and add them to the current stats. And that keeps my running tally of stats for the Orioles. <coughs> I have to go all the way to the top of my spreadsheet to uh, place the stats in for the 1907 Cubs. Export the Cubs, the home team in this case, to Excel spreadsheet. And open that file that I just uh, exported. Waiting for the spreadsheet to open. Here we go. And then I'm going to copy their box score statistics and paste special values add. And that will total their stats for me into the spreadsheet. And then I'll do the same for the pitchers over here on my pitchers tab. We knew that Dean Kramer was the starting pitcher. He will get the loss. It's his second start, the second game. And I'll take his stats, inning pitched over two strikeouts is all I need. And I'm going to paste them in the Kramer stats. Special, values, add, Okay, and then since he has he pitched um, seven innings, so he will get uh, three added to his next start date. So he cannot pitch again until game nine. And Brian Baker had one inning pitched. And I will put his stats in here. A special values add. And his go in there and he had a game and he's still good to pitch right now with just one inning pitched. Okay, so I am out of time. Uh, thanks for watching. This is my America's Pastime Baseball.